Due to the United States' culture and traditions, obesity is a significant issue that doesn't seem to be getting better anytime soon. The CDC uses a measurement called BMI or body mass index, and according to them, a body mass index of over 30 is considered obese. And the average BMI in the United States is 31.9. So a lot of the United States is actually considered obese. I mean, does that really surprise us though? With fast food restaurants literally popping up everywhere in the United States, in a country where people will literally wait in line to buy a dozen Krispy Kreme donuts, and where some YouTubers have huge channels where all they do is stuff their face in order to entertain their subscribers. And although we do have the problem of obesity all across America, some states are far worse than others. As we go over the top 10 fattest states, see if you can notice what 9 out of 10 of these states have in common. And put your answer down in the comments, and the answer will be revealed at the end of the video. And I'm not necessarily trying to call out any one state, I'm just giving you straight facts from studies done by the CDC. So please do not feel mad or sad if your beloved state makes this list. Now with that being said, let's take a look at number 10. Number 10, South Carolina. Nothing says Southern hospitality like a giant plate of freshly baked biscuits drenched in gravy. I've been to South Carolina before and I'm not gonna lie, people there can cook. And apparently people there can eat a lot too. Remember earlier when I said that a BMI of 30% is considered obese? Well, the average BMI of South Carolina is sitting at 35.4. So the average person living there is considered well over obese. But we've got a lot more states to look at, so let's move on to number nine. Yes, yes they do. Maybe a little too much. Love that chicken. Love that chicken. At least in my mind, Louisiana has some of the best food on this list. From the beignets to the po' boys, and of course, the jambalaya. Yeah, I don't blame any of them for being obese. Don't judge me. I most definitely would be too if I lived there. However, they are just slightly more obese in South Carolina with an average BMI of 35.9. So maybe they need to stop eating so much Popeyes and maybe eat some spinach like Popeye does. Number eight, Michigan. It gets pretty cold in Michigan, so can we blame them for wanting to have some extra fluff to keep them warm during the long winters? But honestly, I love Michigan. It's super beautiful. They have all four seasons there and they have the Great Lakes, which are huge, but unfortunately the lakes aren't the only big things in Michigan because the average BMI is 36. Also, two of the biggest pizza chains in America were founded there, Domino's and Little Caesars. So with Michigan residents growing up on all that pizza, it's not a big surprise that they come in on this list. I only have cold cuts. Well, why don't I just go and get some Kentucky Fried Chicken? Oh, good. Number seven, Alabama. Why do most people in Alabama love college football so much? I'm not exactly sure, but what I am sure of is that healthy food doesn't exactly go very well with football for some reason. Every Super Bowl or college football party I've been to definitely had a lot of fried food, chicken wings, and nachos at them. Anyway, they have an average BMI of 36.1. Unfortunately though, obesity isn't the only problem that Alabama struggles with. Like some of the other states on this list, they actually struggle a lot with poverty, which in my opinion definitely has a correlation since unhealthy food seems to be way cheaper than fresh healthy food. After I graduated college, I cleaned up my eating a little bit and I definitely saw my grocery bill go way up. So hopefully if Alabama fixes the money problem or the poverty problem, hopefully the obesity problem will fix itself. Number six, Tennessee. Tennessee has an average BMI of 36.5. Honestly, with all the beautiful mountains that Tennessee has, I really didn't think that they'd be on this list. A lot of other states with mountains and a lot of trails are quite healthy because they do lots of outdoor activities, which results in burn calories that helps keep their weight down. However, with Tennessee, that simply isn't the case. And they aren't as poor as a lot of the other states on this list, so I'm not really sure what's up with Tennessee. 
Moving on to number five, Kentucky. Kentucky's average BMI is actually tied with Tennessee. They're currently sitting at 36.5. Of course, one of the things Kentucky is known for is being the home to the first KFC. It's finger looking good. Kentucky Fried Chicken, we do chicken right. And as most of us probably know, eating a bunch of fried food is a good way to gain weight and stay unhealthy. And again, we see another correlation between obesity and poverty, as Kentucky is the fifth poorest state. So for obesity and poverty, they both come in at number five. Next on the list at number four is Oklahoma. I actually lived in OKC for a while, and I did notice some things related to food that I was not used to where I grew up. For example, a lot of their fast food restaurants serve straight up gravy with chicken tenders. Like literally, they would give you a whole bowl of gravy to dip your chicken in. And I had asked one of my coworkers if this was like a normal thing that a lot of restaurants do. And they're like, yeah, don't you dip your chicken in gravy? Also, another thing I noticed is that they don't have a lot of parks or bike trails or paths, walking paths, anything like that. The state I grew up in is considered one of the healthiest states, according to the CDC, and they have these things everywhere, bike paths, trails. Apparently, Oklahoma isn't too concerned about using taxpayer dollars for projects like this, and you can definitely see the effects of that. Moving on to number three, Arkansas. Arkansas has an average BMI of 37.4. About 40% of the residents in Arkansas admit to not getting daily exercise. Of course, when you combine not getting daily exercise with bad eating habits, it's going to end up in disaster. And their average BMI has actually gotten worse every year for the last 20 years. You are what you eat from your head down to your feet. Things like meat and eggs and fish, you need to build up muscle tissue. Uh oh. So they definitely need to make some major changes if they're going to turn it around. Number two on the list is West Virginia. Everyone I have met from West Virginia has been super, super nice. Apparently being super, super nice doesn't really lower the obesity rate because they have an average BMI of 39.7. They continue down the same path they're currently on, they'll reach 40% in no time. But at least they're not the most obese state, which belongs to number one, which is Mississippi. Fortunately, obesity is not Mississippi's only problem. In fact, they also rank number one in poverty and 50th in education. They currently have an average BMI of 40.8. I was really looking for a positive stat about Mississippi, but unfortunately, I really couldn't find one. However, I was traveling through Mississippi one time and my car broke down and I was stuck there for a couple days while my car was getting fixed. Everyone I ran into there was really nice and they definitely could tell I wasn't from there. But while I was there, it was just really sad to see how much poverty had affected them. And as already mentioned previously, I do believe that poverty ties into obesity. But hopefully Mississippi can turn it around and get off a couple of these negative lists, or at least move down a couple spots. Well, that does it for this list. Did you notice what nine out of 10 of these states have in common? All of them except Michigan are in the South. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe. I have a lot more content on the way. Peace.